This is actually New Mexico's fourth state capitol building, and apparently by the time they built the fourth one, they just didn't bother with domes anymore. <laughs> Greetings from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Where we are continuing our capitol trek at the New Mexico state capitol. What is unique about this building is that it is a complete circle. So you walk inside and you just keep going round and round and round and round. Um, and you have to pay attention to north, south, east, and west on all the markings over the main doors to know where you have walked in that circle. Yeah. Well, and it's because it was built in the shape of New Mexico's, it's the Zia sun symbol, I believe. It's on here, that, and, and we'll put a better picture so you, so you know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's the symbol, it's the state symbol of New Mexico, and it represents lots of different things. And I'll maybe I'll put a note of that in the description so you can see exactly what it stands for. But that was the idea, was it was built in that, that structure. And this was actually built in the mid-1960s. So when you look at state capitals, it's not you know very grandiose like you see with the ones that were built back in the 1800s. Um, it's very functional, but it still is, I mean, it's it's very nice inside. Oh, it's really pretty. It's got really pretty, you know, it's like a kind of a white peachish marble color uh, pretty much everywhere. I mean, it is a very I would say a white stark building. I did, they did design it in that way. It's it's not like the you said the the gold guild that we've seen other places or the you know the pink or the black marble. It's it's a very you know kind of a white, you know more of a utilitarian, um, probably because it was built in the '60s, but yet very pretty. And its claim to fame is the artwork. There is artwork on like every square inch of the Capitol, like any blank space on the wall, um, everything from just like little drawings to 3D art and everything in between. And they really encourage you to walk around and look at the art. And I think that's partly because New Mexico state legislature is only part time. They're only here really 60 days out of every year. And so the rest of the time, the only people here are really the governor's staff and some of the, the policy staff. Uh, and so they really encourage the public to come in and check out all the artwork. Yeah, it's almost like they've set it up like a like a mini art museum. And there's some really cool art in there to see. But then it's like, while you're there, oh, by the way, the legislature might be in session, they might not. <laughs> Which I think also explains why even the, the Senate and House chambers are very plain. I mean, they're they're very stately, I suppose. But we both remarked independently uh, almost at the same time. We're like, oh, it looks like a, a college lecture hall uh, is, is kind of what it resembled to us. And so that's it's very different from some other state capitals we have. I would have loved to have seen. I think it would have been the third one that they had here. That was much more of a standard traditional Capitol building with the dome. But that one burned down. No, the second the one. The second burned one down. burned down. We don't know what happened to the, the third, third one. The third one they turned into some, reconstructed and turned into something else. I'd, maybe we'll look up the history and put it here, but we didn't quite get the whole story. Um, but needless to say, New Mexico is known for being the oldest state capital going back to... 1609 when the first one was built and it was actually i'm looking at the it was so long ago you had to look at your notes so long ago it was the seat of spanish mexican and american governments dating back to 1609 and then this newest one in 1960 so yeah i mean it's it's quite a span there in new mexico's history <laughs> Despite not having a dome, we should mention there is still a rotunda in the center of this circular building. Uh, it has the seal of the state of New Mexico on the floor and above you is a very pretty skylight. Yeah, the skylight represents an Indian basket weave with pale pink and blue colors and then around the I guess the third or fourth floor are flags of the 33 New Mexico counties so that they are represented here as well, because we did learn that at one time the state legislators represented individual counties. But now over the years, they're their districts represented by population, not necessarily by just county lines. So something a little bit of Mexico history. If you do come and visit, try to come early in the day when you can take a tour of the grounds and visit some of the other buildings around, including uh, that original um, Capitol building, which is now a museum. And then there's what they call Capitol North. And that's where the executive and the legislative like offices are. And there's a tunnel that walks between the Capitol and the Capitol Annex. And that's also full of art. Unfortunately, we got here too late in the day and that was closed and we couldn't go down through it. We kind of ran through the Capitol. But I'd hopefully encourage you to come and check out all of the other things that are here in the Capitol grounds and the plaza area. Um, and, and there's artwork all around here, too. They really do love their artwork here. And that's really cool. I haven't seen this much artwork at another state capitol. So not as grandiose as some state capitals we have been to, but still one we think is worth checking out because we think you should go to every state capital because they're cool in their own way. <laughs> in the meantime, keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there.